Dreamers get to dream another day. A major Supreme Court ruling allowing the DACA program to stay on the books, at least for now. DACA protects hundreds of thousands of immigrants brought to the U.S. as children illegally from being deported. Now, the president has been pushing to end the program for years. Now, Channel 9's Elsa Gillis is joining us tonight. Elsa, I know you spoke to one of the more than 24,000 estimated DACA recipients in North Carolina about this decision. I did. I spoke with a recent CMS grad who was headed to college in the fall and is so excited about what is next, especially after this ruling today. I was overwhelmed with the emotions when I first heard about it. Um, I felt a sense of pride and that people believed in us. Jose Santos Ortiz is breathing a huge sigh of relief alongside the thousands of other DACA recipients around the country. It really means that I have a place here in the United States that I don't have to go to another country I barely even know or even recognize or um, it really means a lot to me. At age two, Santos Ortiz came to the U.S. with his parents from El Salvador, who were seeking greater economic and educational opportunities. And he says the DACA program has been hugely significant. In high school, I wanted to get my driver's license, get a job like everyone else, but I was unable to do that until DACA came out and we were able to apply for it. And it gave me so many opportunities that I was able to get a job. And now starting here, I'm able to go to college um, and I'm able to do an internship for Bank of America. But he says he had started to talk with his employers about what would happen if the ruling went the other way and realized some of his dreams and plans could be in jeopardy. But at the moment, we are able to take a deep breath and understand that we're still able to work. We're still able to get opportunities. So definitely it's something, a fight we have to keep on pushing for. And Elsa, while this is a significant ruling, it does leave the door open for the Trump administration to try and end the program again. Yeah, Genevieve, this wasn't about whether the program could be rescinded, but about not providing adequate reason to justify ending it. And we spoke with an immigration attorney about that today. The decision was made based on procedural technicality issues. It does not mean um, that the Trump administration cannot come back and attempt to eliminate DACA once again. And she says this ruling means that DACA can continue and recipients can continue to renew their applications. Back to you. Yeah, and the debate will certainly continue as well. Elsa, thank you. The president isn't giving up on ending DACA. He responded to today's decision, tweeting out, quote, as president of the United States, I am asking for a legal solution on DACA, not a political one, consistent with the rule of law. The Supreme Court is not willing to give us one, so now we have to start this process all over again. This is having a massive impact across our country and ABC will have more coverage on the ruling coming up at 630 on World News Tonight after Eyewitness News.